Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna take this house from propane. This is a copper line coming in with the propane distributing to the house. And we're gonna change to natural gas. So we got a little piping to do. We gotta drill a hole inside of the house, get the new pipe in. We gotta get the old pipe out, make new, some new connections, because as you can see, we're around the corner. And then we gotta convert the furnace so that the gas company can come and check for leaks, turn the gas on, all that good junk. So come on along for the ride. So, this will be the funnest part, the trickiest part. Let's see if I can point this out to you. Right here is a gas line coming in. Right here is where it's got to go, out the wall over there. So we're going to have to take this piece of pipe out and cut it short and turn it out the door, or out the, out the wall. So. Oh. Step one. Turn off your appliances. That should confuse the furnace well enough. It'll turn off here in a minute. Just like that. It was already done with this cycle, so that's fine. So we'll turn the power off. And... We want to start with the gas meter, getting this pipe out um, and getting it reconnected so that we can call the gas company to come out and turn the gas on. And then we can go about uh, converting the furnace. So let's get started. We found some more Hanta for the Hanta Virus Express. But I'm trying to get it out, not in. Yeah. No new ones in there. Okay. Okay. Turn gas off. We're going to undo the copper from the LP tank, maybe. Let's see, I was smart enough to take all my stuff downstairs already. So I'm trying to cheat with what I got left in the truck. Dang it. Did I turn in the whole thing? Get it back on here with the rubber washer. Because the propane company is going to want that. Okay, more tools. Hang on. screw we got something going on just don't know how much oh yeah we got the whole thing perfect We're going to be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 20 inches, okay, from that inside wall. But we can use it pretty good. So we're going to take, I think, we know we're going to be, we're going to go take a peek inside and see where we wind up. 
we might have to move this over one way or another because of a joist in there or something. So let's go find out what we got. This is where the spiders live. So 20 inches. Do, 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 do. There's foam on that. And 20. 20 is going to put us right in here so we could drop right straight down and, and drill from inside out. Through that. Okay. Hang one on. So most times I I'll leave the drill hanging out so it's easier to see. If you could pick it out of there, I'd be surprised, but I did finally find it. It's right there. And I'd like to use a hole drill, but I don't have a hole drill that size. And I don't know if I'm going to get this to cut. So we might have to just move that a hair. That's why I don't like these on this. Okay. Let's see if I can find something else before we tear this all apart. Okay. I used a little bit bigger hole drill to get through that. Yeah, we should have a nice hole in it. So then, our goal is here into here. Clear as mud. So I made a fatal error in trying to get myself out to this job today and I forgot to bring um, cutting thread cutting oil and I forgot to bring cutters so I'm gonna try my copper cutters and see I mean this is what you do you improvise I need a new wheel in this anyway so I'll see if we can get this cut oh first I want to see if we can get that off okay got those off let's see if we can you have to be real careful with this. It's a pretty delicate wheel. It's not made for iron pipe. <coughs> but when you're miles from where your stuff is, you just gotta kinda improvise, adapt, and overcome. <laughs> okay still got a wheel it's a good thing you gotta do what you gotta do huh Pretty lousy thread.
Okay, now I gotta pull apart this section here, get her connected to the mirror. And we'll be ready for the gas company. Okay, last thing we got to paint it. Okay, we've gotten through the gas piping part. We got to get into the furnace now and change the orifices and the spring in the gas valve. Uh, the homeowners called the gas company, trying to get them on their way to turn the gas on so we can expedite this as quick as possible. But we still got a little work to do here, and that's okay because it takes them a little while to get here usually. So stick around. Come on, baby. And we'll go through the inside of the furnace part. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is get into this guy. Let's 
crack the union. Okay, let's get this burner out of here. Not the burner. We got to get these orifices out but for natural gas they're bigger uh, propane is 13 inches on the water column and natural gas is four so they need a bigger hole to get the gases out of See these have a little bigger hole in them. For comparison, oh that one dirty, yeah. For comparison. Okay, I'm going to take this out, just get this gas valve off. In many cases, we get a spring, a new spring to put in the gas valve to set the pressure. But in this case, we got a whole new gas valve. Makes it easy. Ah, there's the arrow for all that. Always make sure you get to the right side of the gas valve and the right side of the manifold. While we're in here, we'll clean the flame sensor. That's this little guy. Just a piece of sandpaper. Clean stuff off. We 
what this does is the computer sends microamps through this of electricity. Burning gas conducts electricity. So when the flame hits it, this completes it to ground to the chassis. So then the computer knows you have flame. If this gets dirty, it can't pass that on. So we clean that to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, and we're ready for the gas company. Let's put the stuff away. So as it turns out, I was a little late getting back uh, to that furnace. Um, the gas company doesn't always show up when you need them to, but uh, I did get back there and did check the pressures on it and it was where they needed to be. So uh, all was good. So there wasn't much to show you since we had a new gas valve to put in there. It um, didn't require me to do much. So that's that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and appreciate you watching. And we'll leave you with a little bit of the Great Lake Central leaving Cadillac on a nice fall day.